<laughs> it's the Burning Numbers podcast here. Welcome back again with Numer, myself, Josh. Numer is going to try and convince me why I should be going to university, and hopefully that can give a little bit of information towards anyone watching, um, whether you should or maybe you shouldn't be going to university. So take it away. So obviously the first thing when you want to first choose about going to university is what are you interested in? So Josh, well, uh, we went to school together. What do you? What are your best subjects? What do you like to do? Obviously, you know from the subjects that we participate in together, we... Oh, I love maths. Um, I'm currently very interested in the whole idea of like personal finance and actually more like psychological and behavioral um, economics in the sense of why people do certain things with their money. Um, and so that's okay. what I started my business based on that. Um, and so that's uh, kind of the main topic that I'm kind of interested in now. In around 10 years, uh, where do you say, where do you think you see yourself in around 10 years? If you like thought about it recently, do you know where you want to be in 10 years? Um, 10 years, I see myself impacting a lot of people's lives and helping them um, kind of turn their life around. I think that I am reasonably educated, but I'm passionate to learn in lots of different areas to help people. So, because obviously you what you want to do is you want to impact, you want to help people, right? Yep. And for that, you need the the standard, you need the core knowledge to be able to do that, right? And do you say would, would you say when you came out of sixth form that you had the core knowledge or you had the knowledge to be able to do these kind of things? Well, that's the thing. Helping people. So, for example, if if I wanted to help you um, build a business, because I've had slightly more experience than you, although I'm not an expert at it, I could help you do that. Right, I, I can provide you with uh, knowledge you don't have. I can guide you. I can coach you and things like this. So I don't think that you need to be an expert in any field. Um, and I also believe that a lot of people already have the knowledge themselves or know what they want to do. So for example, um, you may have had like an issue in your life that you want to try and overcome and you have conflicting ideas. One... Um, one little guy in your shoulder saying you should do this and the other guy in your shoulder saying you should do this well you know the possible outcomes and you just need to decide you just need somebody to help you make that decision um and so usually that's like life-changing that kind of process and that's why the whole industry of like coaching exists and so i don't think like helping people in any sense i need to have a, a university degree uh, I would say that one one of the things that cause what people often assume about uni, right, is that you go in, you do your lessons, and you just do that, and you go out, right? Yeah. But there's so much more that is surrounding uni that makes it more of the complete package. Right. And you think about it, you have societies, you have you have the social aspect, you have exposure. Yeah. Right. So let's say um, you 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 consider yourself quite entrepreneurial, right? Yeah, reasonably, yeah. So, like, in, in most unis, there's, like, an entrepreneur society yeah. where fellow entrepreneurs, fellow like-minded people will come together. And when like-minded people come together, you know it amplifies the amount, the amount that people can do, to, they can do together, right? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are the things it does? It, 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 it like, boosts exposure. Like, you, the amount of people you meet, the amount of like-minded people you can meet is, like, crazy. Yeah. And if, especially if you go to a university that these people are, like, 10,000 to 20,000 people in just one university. Yeah. And then you have intercollegiate things where like you could meet other people from other unis. Yeah. So then you're you're building your network slowly, not even slowly, you're building your network quickly. And then together that brings it in together. So then, and also one of the things about this society is they bring in speakers, su su successful speakers. So CEOs will come in. The, the ex-president of Italy came in for a talk that you get to meet these people and you get to leave an impression on these people. To be right. able to build your network, to wait. eventually for you, you want to build a business, right? Okay, yeah. But so wait, you sorry. can meet these sorry people to interrupt you. Oh. I love what you said. Sorry to interrupt. Um, so you know, you just said about the vice president of Italy, um, ex president. Yeah, yeah. So they came to you for a speech, and you said that you can leave an impression on these guys. Let's say, for example, um, Barack Obama comes to your university. Do you really think mm -hmm. that you're going to be able to make an impression on him? Uh, it depends. Uh, well, I think anyone can leave an impression on anyone. Like, if you if you play it right, I'd say I could argue that you could leave an impression on anyone. Okay, in the same way that anybody could if you play it right in the lottery, right? Huh? Yeah, but like <laughs> playing a lottery is different. Lottery is completely random. Yeah, playing no, it that, right is yeah. down to you. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like, okay. and there's things like um, you have all these networking events that 
like for you, one of the main things about building a business is having a has having a good network to build a business like upon, right? Mm, like, would you argue that you would you argue that having a good network does help building a business? Yeah, I mean, you need uh, either a team or mm -hmm. potential clients. And so, where would yeah. you where would you build this team? Yeah, yeah potential yeah. clients. I, I completely agree. A network is is, yeah. is very useful. Um, so obviously, business is done with with people to people, not yeah. um, to anything else. And so, yeah, people is the only place you're going to get money from. And one of the one of the other things is that um, when you see when you want to have build your business, you need things like investors and stuff, right? We don't have to be. It depends on your expenses. It depends so for, on your expenses. But yes. but like it'd be ideal to have an, an investor, someone who's willing to help your business go. Well. I kind of agree and disagree. So if your um, business is about creating a new car, like Tesla, they create a new car and then they're going to now create a prototype and then ship that off and then get that really made up to standard and then sell that product, right? They need the initial funding. Most individuals or a group of people don't have the funding for that. So they need a, an investor. So then they go and make a, a, a fairly rubbish prototype and then ask for money from an investor. That's wonderful because you need the, you have all the initial expenses. A lot of other businesses, you can create a business right now. You go online and you can just go on Facebook and you can sell any product, right? Let's say you just yep. like, you want to sell your hair, right? Some people love your hair. So you're going to sell your go hair. And so you go on Facebook and you be like, look at my hair, look at my hair, looks great. And you, you got a nice trim beard. You can look exactly like the mayor. It's wonderful. And so people can buy it. You don't need any initial investment for that. If you wanted to, you can go, you can spend like under a hundred pounds, uh, use a WordPress site and create a website of where to sell your product from, right? Mm -hmm. You can go, um, if you have any small products, um, for example, my partner, she makes like, she does stuff with shells. Um, and what she can do is she can, there's a thing called Amazon FBA, uh, where it's filmed by Amazon, basically similar to eBay in the way that you, enlist your product on eBay. Instead, you're going to ship all of your product from wherever it is to Amazon. You then, they Amazon takes a percentage of your sale, but they deal with all the customer service. They deal with all of the um, shipment. You have a potential for Prime, and now you have access to 30% of the market share of all consumer products. And so you don't need initial, uh, a large sum of money. Um, I think if you have a full-time job and you manage your personal finances as well, then you have that disposable income to actually put towards it. So I, I don't think in a sense of uni, you have a network and then you have potential for investors. There's sites like Angel Investor, which you can just go on and apply for uh, and kind of like pitch your idea like Dragon's Den. So I, I kind of agree that it's more likely you're going to get investment from someone who you know and you have a relationship with. But you can do that through other methods as well. That's why we have like social media as well. I agree you can do it through other methods, but it's like, um, what is the, like, again, it's like, what is the harder method to take? Like, why would you, like, these places like angel investors, right? Yeah. I would, I would argue that it is a more difficult route to take because you're not really able to build this personal relationship between each other, right? Yeah. Because one of the, one of the things that people really buy into is personality as well as the product, right? Yeah, like you need to be able to, like, like I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use the prime ministers as an example, right? Yeah. What uh, one of the things is people didn't really buy into Theresa May because they didn't really buy into a personality, but people really bought into people like David Cameron because he had a he had a strong personality. Yeah. Until he until he did what he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, um, one of the things is building a personal interaction is something that's really key, mm -hmm. just general in general life, and especially with all these social media outlets and stuff like that, they're just buying into the product. But when you, when you, when you increase something that personal interaction, then you're buying into product and you. Yeah. And well, that's what is key. Well, you have to also think about like the costs of university itself. Uh, I think mm -hmm. for someone like myself where I don't need, I don't think if you're entrepreneurial, then I don't think you need like, university education to get you to that right so your main topic of why university is going to be beneficial is the social networking right um but that also comes at a cost so for example i can get a similar networking um experience if i spend uh, a couple of times a month going to like a conference or go into um 
what do they call it when you've got like stands everywhere and they're, they're publishing their idea and you can go and just talk to them what are they called uh i, I have no idea <laughs> oh, okay basically um social meetups and you can find them all over all over uh england every everywhere right you got social meetups where people go and just socialize um of similar mindset similar topics or anything that you're interested in um i know that like when we was a sixth form we went to a couple of things where we go like uh, what was that place that we went when we was actually looking at universities and every like we had like 200 oh, universities Univ university open day to be yeah, so day. yeah so like a, a similar thing to that but um instead of universities is a different topic um mm -hmm. and, and so instead of paying like nine thousand pounds a year just to have a social network then you can pay a hundred pounds a month to go on like three different um places I was, I was, three different we all say i i know i'm putting the emphasis on social network right yeah but we um i did also mention about the the knowledge and the skills that you gain right yeah like, let's say um like firstly i'm a, I'm a stem major so I'm a, I'm a science major so I, what i focus is on more the science side but for someone like you who do who's like not who wants to be an entrepreneur yeah. like you have uh you have like economics degrees you have business degrees and things like that that really that bring in people that have done the business before people have been successful before and people are coming in to personally provide you with the skills that they acquire throughout their careers yeah to help them build their business yeah and that's something like like you can only like for me i personally think that the people you learn off need to be able to have like a solid background right yeah and what better what better people than people that have done it already agreed but you there's so much more education out there than just so for example you, if you go to university you're paying for um your your professor to teach you and you're paying mm -hmm. for them to actually go over the work that you've done to ensure um, it's to a correct standard and therefore give you a grade. And that's how you get a certificate in the end. Yeah. But that's, that's, not, um, that's not the only way or that's not the best way to be learning in the first place. So, for example, there's so much you can learn. You can go if you wanted to learn how to code. You don't need to do a physics degree where the, you, you've got a small section in that way you learn how to code. You don't need to go and do a computer science degree where you've got a larger, much larger section, but not 100%. It's just about coding. But if you want to be like a web developer and your whole job, nine to six, is going to be just coding, then you can go and just do a coding course on Code Academy or Udemy or something like that that's a hell of a lot cheaper, like £100 tops. Uh, most of them are like ten pounds, or you could go on YouTube where you've got hundreds and hundreds of people that are just spending lots of time creating content that is completely free. And so I strongly believe that you can. Uh, never mind bloody books. Imagine books, right? That's where you learn most of your information from, and that is also available to the public. So okay. I think um, if I personally think if you have any sort of idea of exactly where you want to go, um, then there's a more direct and uh, cheaper, quicker um, route towards that place. There are some exclusions. For example, if you wanted to be a dentist, um, most places in the medical field, if you want to be a financial advisor, for example, then these things you have to have a degree to actually get into it. But a lot of employers actually out there are now seeing that university is not as um, high up of a need than previously expected and so they're now looking into what actually for example i watched an interview from um elon musk now he, he tesla just got into the s p 500 so tesla went from like 200 pound per share price like back in march all the way up to about uh i think 500 800 now so increased dramatically but yeah elon musk amazing entrepreneur kind of leading the world here um and he he doesn't judge somebody from their CV or in interviews based on the university at all. He doesn't care. What he cares is if you have a history of um, good, hard, dedicated work, then chances are you're going to then continue that in the future. But the, the fact that you go to university and you got a degree doesn't, doesn't mean much in that sense. And one of the things I would say is, um, yes, that's great and everything. But one of the things I could argue is, you know, when you leave for sixth form, right? And so you've left for sixth form, right? And now 
you say what what was your idea as soon as you left for six what were you doing what was i doing yeah well we went on summer break <laughs> <laughs> i mean like like what like you you i know i know you personally so i know you had a plan what was your like your plan when you left for when you left six form well i wanted i originally wanted to be like an astronaut in it so yeah. uh that was like a direct route from which required university um so you go through university and then you go into training you do that sort of thing and not necessarily just like be an astronaut but anywhere in the field of um uh rockets and space and astrophysics mm-hmm. sense um so i was going to do an astrophysics degree so that was like the plan but then i realized that there's so much um there's so much at cost the opportunity cost of what you could be doing otherwise could be much greater although um it doesn't matter about it it doesn't matter what i could be doing if i wanted to pursue what i wanted to pursue and therefore i had to go to university but yeah what one of the things i was going to say is when you leave sixth form when you leave college anything like that you're quite in a in a like i would, I would say lonely area but you're quite isolated in terms of like you're now you're on your own you have to build and you have to try build up from there right yeah and then the, you you know the saying you're uh, you are the mix of your five classes people. Yep. So one of the things that I would say is that when you go to university, uh, you are surrounded by people who are like-minded, who are driven like us. If you can find, you will find people who are driven yeah, like yeah, yourself. Yeah. Yep. And if you surround your people with those five people, that that in turn will that will boost you because you again you are the you are the product of the five people that you are around. Of course. And I think that's one of the one of the big things about university is having uh, having people like that around you. Yeah. Having people who want to who want to do what you want to do, yeah. And I think that in turn, I I think that's in my in my head that's invaluable because if you find people that want to do what you want to do, and if you're able to form this form a group of people that want to do this together, yeah, that would that would in turn increase what you like go it literally boost you up first and what and then for me that's invaluable. That's not something that you can put a cost on. Oh, no, no, I completely agree. Uh, the intrinsic value of that is humongous. However, um. For you, do you think there is any alternative than to go to university to actually get that socialization? Uh, it depends on what you want to do. I guess, right? Like for yeah. me, I'm a science major, so for me, there was no other choice. But mm-hmm. for like someone who wants to like build a business, I think you can you can find this by going to social net social networking events, going to conferences. But I find it that it is a lot more difficult. Yeah. yeah okay let's talk about let's say for example someone wants to get into banking do you think it's really necessary for someone to actually go to university to study like finance or accounting or something like that i'd say for i'd say for the nature of the sector it is necessary and it also depends what site because banking is a very broad term yeah you have you have commercial banking you have investment banking you have all these kind of different sorts of banking yeah so like i'd say something like commercial banking people that like are like on the uh on the tilt of like HSBC or things like that, I wouldn't yeah. say you need a degree. You more need experience. You need you need to be able to have social interactions with people. Right. But if you wanted to go into something like investment banking or something like that, I'd say you would need a degree just because of the nature of the of the sector. Okay. And um, what's your point of view on uh, apprenticeships? I think apprenticeships are amazing. I like. I really I like the idea of apprenticeships. Yeah. Because that, like, one of the issues that I had was having. Um, like having a social network around you with people that are like-minded like you. but i think an apprenticeship does allow you to to have that yeah but yeah. Uh, i think one of the problems that that are occurring with apprenticeships these days is that i think a lot of apprenticeships like you have really great apprenticeships but i think in general apprenticeships these days are kind of focusing on more lower skilled things when they can be focusing on higher skilled things like if you if, if you attract more if, like if, do you understand what i'm trying to say like they're yeah. trying to attract the lowest lower skilled jobs so it gets like a bad whereas, reputation so it gets a bad reputation but right. i think the essence of an apprenticeship is very good yeah i think um well let's kind of wrap it up here but my i'll say my opinion and then you can say yours um i think that um university is good if you have a specific thing in mind that you want to go and achieve and you're driven for that and you're passionate about that and university is kind of like one of the only methods or the best way to actually get there so for example if you want to be a heart surgeon you must go and study medicine right yeah um, and if you want to be an astronaut you must go and study physics or astrophysics or something along those lines so 
I also think that they're uh, getting the experience of like an apprenticeship in a specific field that you want to do is more valuable than going to university to study something quite broad to then try and get into the job anyway. Um, mm -hmm. You also have the costs of university and things like this. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's kind of my point of view. Well, I would think that I think in, uh, university as a whole is more of a, it's like a, like I told you, it's like a package, right? Yep. You get the knowledge, you get the, you get the, you get the network and you get all these kind of things. And I think um, it's down to the person as well, if they want to gain experience while they're at university. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I did during my third year was that I worked as a data analyst throughout my year yep. while doing my degree, which is like, it allowed me to gain a years of experience while learning and while gaining the necessary skills. Yep. So I think it's down to the person about what they want to do. Yep. and how they tackle university but i think university is a good option to go through mm -hmm. because of all the things that you can get within the university yeah well hats off to some universities hats off to some people who do what you do <laughs> and uh, other people need to change what they're doing so thank you for talking to me um catch you in the next one and uh, thank you guys thank for you. watching <laughs> see you soon